ridiculous. There's no such thing as too dominating.
boring. This must be the spirit hovers before you. It looks into your eyes and reaches out a hand of smoke and gossamer, silently begging you to take it. You feel the boards creak under your boots. The smell of salt and pitch fills your nose. You check the knots securing your cargo, hands moving over rough rope in the darkness. There's a shout from above decks, and then the world turns upside down. You're pitched violently sideways as the planks around you rip apart and black water floods in. The current twists and tears at you, battering you against the ship's cargo. You hang on until a small box comes loose, cracking against your skull as it's dragged away by the torrent. As your vision fades to black, you see the walls shudder as the peacemaker snaps in two. You awake to the flicker of torchlight and the sound of voices. Here, crack this in open. With locks like these, there'll be something good inside. You hear the snap of a latch being broken and a long, low whistle. Get word to Lohar. The Reds are shipping death fog. Send your fastest runner. Go! You lie still for a minute until you feel a rough kick to the ribs. Thought I saw a twitch, says the dwarf, looming over you. Well now, ain't you an unfortunate little flounder, she growls before clamping her hand across your mouth and nose. Sorry, hun, no witnesses allowed. You kick and struggle weakly, desperately trying to catch a breath, but the dwarf's grip is iron. As your vision starts to swim, you see other dwarves moving in the torchlight, hauling your cargo off the ship. You give one last kick and then... darkness. Stepping back from the spirit, the feeling of her panic starts to slowly fade from your mind. Go on, then.
Nice.
Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You receive a lot of things. I don't fancy starving along with the rest of this town. It's all well and good for you with your rations. We've got to take what we can get. Keep talking to me for you let that bit in sawdust from a cell floor. Ah. Keeping it together, Reed. Back again, eh? It's free. Fair travels, friend. Avoid welcome. God knows what stuff stop those beasts. Cow stealing. How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Back for a return visit. Have at it. Got yourself situated. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it.
Have you heard any news? Nothing good. The void wiper are everywhere. Thank the divine you're here to protect us. Yep, yep. I'm all right, as long as I'm glad to see you well. Anything more? Smells worse over here than a dozen... Until later, then. Then don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit you a ton, who will? The dwarven woman hums to herself as she works with total focus and concentration. Her ears twitch at your approach, but she does not turn to you. Yes? What's this, woman? I know a bomb when I see it. Out with it! Ah, one of Lohar's, are you? You should know better than to stick your clumsy fat fingers in the Queen's secret operations. Beast raises his fists in a rage. You're not sure whether he intends to crush the dwarf or the machine she's tinkering with. Beast's fists slam down hard onto the device. Shards fly for it in all directions, and a red light flickers on. Looks like you've had some technical difficulties, eh? I know what you look like. I'll report you. Queen Justinia will have vengeance. Ruined! That brute! Then my runes should... Oh, this is impossible!
The spirit examines her hands, waving them back and forth, seemingly fascinated with the ethereal trail of source that drifts from them. My word, they were right. The mystics and clerics were all right. There is life beyond death. Well, it's nice to know that nothing bad can happen to me now, right? <laughs> right? Belief or not, how can I argue with my own existence? The empirical evidence is making me reconsider a lot of my assumptions. What a time to be alive. I mean, Dad, nothing excites me more than being proven wrong. <sighs> now there's a whole new world of thinking to be done. I just need to figure out a way to jot down the notes from my last project <laughs> when I can't hold a pen.
rubbish. Bless again. Yes, again. Rubbish. Less again. Thank you. 
Lass er gehen. upon the backs of slaves. I'll take your order, if you're polite. Help. Nah. You want an engraved invitation every time? You know the way in. I'll take your order, if you're polite. Help. Nah. Tell me, if they got nothing to hide, they got nothing to be scared of. I'll take your order, if you're polite, Elf. I'll take your order, if you're polite, Elf. I'll take your order, if you're polite, Elf. Nah. Yeah, you're good with the Magister's caging anyone up that looks at them funny. I'll take your order, if you're polite, Elf. Not right now. I'll take your order, if you're polite, Elf. Not right now. I'll take your order, if you're polite, Elf. Nah. I'll take your order, if you're polite, Elf. Nah. Yeah? You're good with the Magister's taking anyone up that looks at them funny. Damn right. I'll take your order, if you're polite, Elf. It's the greater good. Not right now. Oh, even a smaller good if it bit you on the arse. I'll take your order if you're polite, Elf. Nah. I'm telling you, if they got nothing to hide, they can See the cook for stupid.
better not be giving Boss a hard time. That's a lot of blood. Better not be giving Boss a hard time. Beast bristles the moment he sees his fellow dwarf and slams his right fist into his left palm, growling all the while. You scheming bastard. Death fog! Give me one good reason I shouldn't split both your heads in two. Calm your jaw. It's like this. I didn't sign up to move Death Fog. Other weapons, even soul-forged weapons, sure. But Death Fog? Absolutely not. When we found the bomb on Her Majesty's ship, I was told to ship it to Arx along with the rest of the stuff. But I couldn't. Mordas disagreed, obviously. But thanks to you, he's dead. You need to get to Arx as quickly as possible. That's where she's planning to use it. There'll be a wedding in full swing by the time you arrive. A girl named Isla and some do-nothing type. Her father's well placed, though. If anyone knows where to find the queen, it's him. Mikhail Ross is his name. Tell him I sent you. I pray it ain't too late. Mohar was in way over his head. Death fog's nothing to mess with. All that matters now is getting to Arx and stopping that bomb. Lives are at stake. Lohar rubs his forehead beneath his hood and stares at the ground. As you approach, his face hardens and he stands at his full height. So? Lohar takes the amulet and turns it over in his hand. He pockets it matter-of-factly. What did you find in the cave? You can end all this. Dead, more dead, and Mordus with them. I owe you. Whole realm owes you, really. But I'll do my best to settle that debt myself. Take this key. Nicked it from the Whites. It opens a chest in the Magister Barracks, second floor. Be careful getting at it. If they spot you, it'll be lights out. Should be some good stuff in there, though. Real good. Well, someone will have to clean up the mess in that cave. Bury the dead, get rid of anything the Magisters might use to pin anything on us. But you, I imagine you'll be moving on. Right. Yes. Indeed. Apart from Mordus, I can think of three folks in the area who'd be worth your time. Give me your map. First, a demonologist. My people reported he passed through here not long ago. Avoided the Magisters very carefully, that one. Jay hands his name. I'll show you where we last saw him. Next is an easy one. Well, maybe not easy, but obvious. Riker, master of the old graveyard. Now there's a sorcery you don't want to double cross. Not far from here either. Last one I can think of may not be useful. There's an elf called Sahela. Young but powerful. She got carted off to the joy. Her people have been spotted in the area, though, and I wouldn't have put it past them to spring her out. Here, look where I've marked. You'll find them. They worship that girl, like she were their flesh-munching god himself. And there you have it. I hope one of them can tell you what you need to know. I guess there's no hiding it now. 
It's like this. I didn't sign up to move Death Fog. Other weapons, it, when we found the bomb on Her Majesty's ship, I didn't want my people to have it any more than theirs. Nothing good can come of Death Fog. Nothing. Mordors disagree. I'll go destroy the Death Fog bomb myself. Make sure no one can get their hands on it. Ever. In an instant, Lohar goes completely white. No! What have we done? You ain't gonna last much longer. I don't deserve your kindness. I should have told you before. I just... No, I've got no excuse. I'm gonna do what I can to stop the Queen. I suggest you try the same. Get to Arks. End this before Justinia does. There'll be a wedding in full swing by the time you arrive. Arks, wedding, Mikhail Ross. Got that? Off with you then. Time ain't on our side. with you then. What is it? I have a lot on my mind. You can end all this. What are you doing with that? Hand it over. That's my property. He quickly reads over the letter, as though making sure nothing has changed. Could you bought this to me? I'd hate to think what might have happened to you if you hadn't. Whatever needs doing. Isn't that obvious? Poor baby. much longer. Hope you don't go blind after all. 
that. Think those fingers of yours will ever heal. Why you got to make us hurt you? Isn't it time for another snap? Further come, and I'll knock the head in. Doing what are you here? Laughing to me? I having an injurious brainwave. Again to try. and I'll knock the head in. Doing what are you here? Time is now! Not to be worth it. Oi, Tendon and Av been grow by their largest fans. Good little gnomons. Caretaking! My gnomons get a hot head if you danger make their treasures. Go easy. Pretty plant, yes. Uh. Look out. I see a trap nearby. <coughs> Look out. I see a trap nearby. Portion whence, not during. <laughs> Wanting what? Oi, tending. <clears throat> Psst! Careful! You have to take it when you can. She won't give you enough. Never enough! Pretty plant. Yes. Think those fingers of yours will ever
Had it keeping the old ladies. One team, what? Get your own, okay? Goodly doing. You heard any news? Nothing good. The void while can buying or selling. Capital. Good luck to you. You're safe among friends. Never forget. <laughs> Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your tongue, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Talk about it. worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, nothing less than well, don't come over. Not like that you're buying anything. Fish. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? In any mood to talk about it. Keeping it 
together free. I'm all right, as long as I don't think of anything too much. You're safe along the friends. Never forget.